hopefully you are here because you are a photographer or you know a photographer and you're tired of advertising and you want to figure out a way to grow your business 100% by referral. And our plan today is to show you how you can do that with something we call Mailbox Love. Does that sound good? Yeah? All right. So this is called Grow Your Photography Business with Mailbox Love, and I'd like to thank Deb for hosting. I'm Candice Rodardi. I'm a business coach. My specialty is helping solopreneurs get stuff done. And Deb Davis is, of course, Detroit, Detroit's premier headshot photographer and one of the most awesome people on the planet. <laughs> so what is Mailbox Love? Mailbox Love refers to a marketing strategy, and I'm just going to read this because I can't memorize it. I can't, can't memorize Jack Diddley. But Mailbox Love refers to a marketing strategy in which businesses send personalized, personalized gifts or messages to their clients through the mail, the U.S. Postal Service. The purpose of Mailbox Love is to create a positive and memorable experience for clients, increase customer loyalty and retention, and differentiate the business from competitors. This strategy can be particularly effective for photography businesses as it allows them to personalize and enhance the client experience beyond the photo shoot or the event. That's what mailbox is. That's what we'll be talking about today. We've got a jam-packed agenda, and I'm going to try to get it done in 30 minutes because I want to respect your time. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about reasons to send mailbox love. We're going to talk about what to send when we're sending mailbox love. And then I'm, we're going to show you a system how to send mailbox love. So the reason why you want to send mailbox love is because it helps your business grow. So this is my friend, Tanya. She's a real estate agent in Southern California, and her real estate business grew from $30,000 a year income to $200,000 a year income because she implemented some of the things that we will be talking about today. She used Mailbox Love, mailbox love to, well, I don't know, I can't do the math, but five, six, six times her business. So I want you to think about this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually pull up a poll. Can you think about the reason why you stopped doing business with somebody. Why did you stop doing business with somebody? And so there's your um, there's your questions. Pick one of these reasons why you stopped doing business with somebody. We'll hold this up for about 60 seconds. So just think about maybe somebody that you stopped doing business with and the reason why you stopped doing business with them. So the reasons given are, Failure to get the help I wanted. They didn't care about me at 50% and poor customer service at 17%. So um, here's something that y'all probably already know. 68% of customers surveyed said they, they stopped doing business with the company because they felt like the company didn't care about them. And that was a pretty, you know, that was a pretty popular answer among you guys as well. So people want to feel like they're cared about. And mailbox love is one of those ways that you can make people feel cared about. This is really important because this happened to me. I had an amazing, amazing mortgage broker who helped us buy our first house. And five years later, when we went to buy our second house, I couldn't remember his name. He was so good. And I couldn't remember his name. 92% of customers don't remember who they did business with previously. Mailbox love helps them remember you. So if I don't know if you guys know Joe Gerard, because this is really old school. I mean, he, he, we're talking 50 years ago, right? 50 years ago, this guy, Joe Gerard, sold six cards every day because he sent greeting cards. He sent mailbox love to his clients. He had He sent out hundreds of cards every single month. And as a result, he sold six cards a day. That's uh, 90 cars a month. No, is that right? 90. Yeah. What is that math? 180 cars a month? Somebody do that math. I can't do math right now. That's a lot of cars. Most real estate, uh, most uh, car salesmen are lucky if they sell six cars a month. He sold six cars a day because he sent mailbox love. Okay. Mailbox love. This is a true stat. 70% of people surveyed said that they opened greeting cards first. When they go through the mail, they open greeting cards first. When was the last time somebody told you they opened your email first? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, crickets there. 
uh, so the reason why we want to send mailbox love is because we want to to make sure that our customers never forget our name. They never forget who we are. And when you send mailbox love, a lot of the times that mailbox love, love gets kept. And I'm going to teach you secrets to mailbox love that gets kept. So what to send? You want to, this is rule number one. If the only thing you learned from me today is this right here, remember it. You want to make sure that you send your customers pictures of themselves. Because when somebody receives a picture of themselves in the mail, and that's me, believe it or not, they put that picture on the refrigerator. And then every time they open the refrigerator, they think of you because you sent them the card. And I don't know if you can see this, but the very bottom of this picture, it's the name, the, it's the brand of the photographer. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily do that. I would put the brand on the back of the card, but um, every time I see this picture, I think, oh, wow, Melonhead did a great job on that photo shoot. So put their photo on the front of the card. So they're right there, top tip. Everything we go, we go from, from here, remember that piece. So a really easy way to stay in touch with your clients is to send weird holidays, like St. Patrick's Day is going on right now. I mean, we're, it's too late to send a St. Patrick's Day card now, but I every year I send St. Patrick's Day cards to a group of people and just say, I'm so lucky to have you in my network. I'm so lucky to have you as a client. I'm so lucky uh, that you, you know, you're one of my favorite referral partners. So th think of those outside the box box holidays, figure you can use websites like holidayinsights.com to figure out what kind of weird holidays would work well for photographers, but outside the box holidays are an excellent time to send mailbox love. Not so much Christmas, New Year's and Thanksgiving because everybody else does that, but Halloween, you know, Mother's Day is a great time to send a card, um, especially if you do photos of kids. If you, um, you know, there's there's cat, there's International Cat Day and there's International Dog Day. So if you're a pet photographer, you can send pet related holiday cards. Just think outside the box because holidays are an excellent way to keep in touch with your clients. Always gather birthday information and send birthday cards. So this is a birthday card that a mortgage broker sends out to all of his clients. And it's a picture of his dog on the front of the card with a little note about how much he appreciates have, knowing them. And then his branding on the back of the card. This is the birthday card that I sent out last year. It's a Star Wars long, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And then when you open it up, it's a three panel card with a picture spanned across the entire inside panel that says happy birthday. Imagine if you were a bride and you, your photographer sent you a card and you open up the card and the inside of the card had a three panel span of your wedding party inside the card. Think about that. That photographer would be remembered forever for that card. So birthdays are a big one. Send thank you cards when you're done with a job. You know, they can be standard pictures. I would recommend sending a picture that didn't get used as the, as the front of the card. Um, you know, because cards, they really, nobody sends thank you cards. So doing that one little thing makes you more uh, impressive than 97%. The statistic is 3%. 3% of businesses send thank you cards. So be a 3%er. Ask for referrals and testimonials. My husband is a world-class custom furniture maker. He made, he made, he's semi-retired now, but he made, King size beds for antique furniture collectors. His and clients included movie stars and Fortune 500 executives. This is a card that we sent asking for testimonials. It was a picture of a bed, and on the inside of the card, it said, "You know, we're we're uh, building out our website, and we would love to get some pictures of your furniture in your home." And as a result of sending out this card, we got pictures and testimonials from our clients. It's a you can ask in a way that isn't slimy. Hey, can I can I ask you a favor? I'm redoing my website and it looks like I need um, to build out my testimonials page. Can you help me by telling me how you, what, you know, how you, what your experience was, what your favorite thing about working with me was, or where maybe where I could have done a little bit better. Do that in a card. Do that in a card. All right. Thank people for giving you a referral. This is really important. If somebody refers business to you and you don't thank them, do you think they're going to refer business to you again? Yeah. Send them a card. 
All right. And my my uh, t- top tip is to keep it lighthearted. People like to laugh. So tell jokes in your cards. And this is a card that says, how do monkeys cook their toast? And the answer is under a gorilla. I mean, it's just a funny little, funny little card. So send funny cards. Send funny cards. All right. This is really important. Only 5% of the people who reach out to you immediately are ready to buy from you right now. 95% of the people who ask you a question, you fill out your form, they're not ready. They're just shopping. So if you gather their contact information and you, you let's say you're a wedding photographer and you in your intake form, you get their mailing address and the date of their wedding, you can send them cards that prime them to hire you as their photographer. Some of those... Um, Some of those ideas are maybe a list of your favorite vendors. I know you're planning your wedding right now and it's scheduled out for six months from now. I don't know if you've hired your caterer yet, but here's a list of my three favorite caterers. I don't know if you've got your flower, you know, your flower arrangements done yet, but here's a list of five florists that I've worked with in the past who are all fantastic. That right there makes you the expert. And of course, they're going to want to hire the expert who knows all the right people. And you can set that up in, with Mailbox Love so that those email, so that those cards actually go out automatically. So you, so you can have a series of cards go out. Let's say you have five cards that go out with all with five different tips on how to how to have the perfect wedding. And you just said you click send once, and those cards go out automatically on the time frame that you want them to go out. It's a brilliant system. You can use your card as a newsletter. So anytime you have something new going on, you can send out an announcement card. Hey, this is something new. We just hired our second shooter, or we've added video services to our offering, or now we have a photo booth. If you're doing nonprofit events and you want a photo booth for your nonprofit events, you can use the cards. And that's, a again, remember, 70% of people say they open a greeting card first. How many people throw away stuff that looks like a newsletter in the mail, you know, in the trash before they even look at it, but they're going to open the card? So that's a great way to um, to make announcements. And you can upsell, cross-sell, and introduce new products in your cards too. Exactly what I just told you in the newsletter announcements, same concept. Um, and then also, if you decide that you love Mailbox Love and you want to make a little extra money from Mailbox Love, you can also sell the service to your customers. You can be the one that says, hey, I'm going to take your graduation photos for you, and I would love to help you send out the graduation announcement. So there's my daughter's graduation announcement from college. Um, I have others. I have some good ones. Here's a high school graduation announcement. Here's a college graduation announcement. I love that they have the the picture on the back. And then here's my daughter's high school graduation announcement with lots of photos. So graduation announcements are really um, um, fun thing to do and send out cards, which is the mailbox list system that we use. And the commission on that is 20%. So share the system, you make 20%. All right, are you ready to see how it works? Yeah? Let's look at see how it works. So let's stop sharing for a minute. Do we have any questions while I'm getting this set up? Any questions? No, you guys, I'm, I'm moving we along quickly. <laughs> we huh? don't have any in the chat, none in the chat yet. So. Okay, so let's, let's get going with sending a card. Oh, wait, hold on. I wanna do something, something cute. I'm gonna put it in gallery view. If you are, off camera right now would you please hop on camera because i want to take a screenshot all right so i'm in the send out card system send out cards is the platform that i use to send mailbox love i've been using it for over 12 years so i'm going to go into the card catalog and there are 15,000 cards to choose from in the card catalog under all sorts of different categories but i like creating my own cards from scratch and that's what i'm going to do right now so i'm going to click on build your own And I'm going to choose the horizontal layout because the picture that I used is horizontal. And then I'm going to customize the card. I'm going to use the two panel card um, 
option, but we can also do flat cards, which are, you know, one, one, two sided cards, three panel cards, which is like the, the Star Wars card I showed you a little bit earlier. And we also have eight and a half by 11 cards. There's also postcards, but honestly, I'm not a fan of postcards. And then there's two types of uh, two other types of paper. The standard paper is a little bit glossy. And then there's a satin paper. I don't know if you can see it, but it feels like butter. The satin paper feels like butter. And then we have a pearl paper, which is shimmery. So we're going to do two panel card on standard paper. I'm going to click next. And I'm going to make the card from scratch. So this is a blank uh, platform, a blank, a blank palette, and I'm going to create the entire card from scratch. But if you aren't creative that way, there are 15,000 cards to choose from in the card catalog. So I'm going to click on the pink image button, and I'm going to upload that screenshot that I just um, grabbed. And of course, it's in we're waiting for it to upload right now. And the higher resolution the image, the longer it takes to upload, obviously. So until it uploads, we don't want to do anything, but it looks like it's here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and it'll fill the space. And then you can make it smaller and you can change the background to black so that it looks like that. Or you can also um, you can also change the color code here so you can use your own branding. Um, I, I'm not going to mess with that right now, but I could if I wanted to pick a you know, an eyedropper and figure out what that gray color is right there and make the background gray. But I'm going to just leave it the way it is. So that's the front of the card. And then here's the inside. I can click panel view and then that's the top of the card. And I can grab another photo to add to the top of the card. This is the different, these are the different layouts that you can do. So, you, you know, you can send, if you're doing a wedding, you can send four photos from the wedding or five photos from the wedding using different layouts. Um, and again, this is a thank you card. They're, this is a card. It's not an image that they're going to save or frame. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab the graphic from today's class. Right. So now I'm uploading the graphic from the event, dropping that in the middle of the card. And then again, I'm going to shrink it using the, the drop down menu over here until it fits. So there's that. So that's the top inside. The bottom inside, I'm going to put Dear Deb. You are a rock star and I adore you. Smooches, Candice. Then I'm gonna highlight the font. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna choose a different font. I kind of like font swanky, font down swanky. That's kind of a fun one. And I'm gonna change the font color too. Um, let's make the font color some sort of blue. And again, make it a dark blue. Again, you can add your own color codes here, but I'm just using a standard one. So I made it a little bit of a dark blue color. And then the back of the card has my custom branding. So this is my standard branding that goes on the back of most of my cards. But I also have a couple of dozen other card back ideas to use, depending on the type of card that I send. Like if I'm sending a, um, a condolence card, I don't want to brand myself. So I use this picture here as the back of a card is a, a bench, an empty bench looking out of our lake. Um, but there's different, you can, you can brand the back of your cards, however you want to, or you can just put another photo on the back of the card, another photo from the photo shoot. Um, but I recommend branding the back of the card so that people remember who you are. So I'm using that one there and I'm going to check out and now I'm going to add a gift because Deb was awesome to host this event. So I'm going to send her a gift. And I know that Deb doesn't want brownies. So I'm not going to send her brownies, but that's my go-to gift that I normally send. So I'm going to send her, um, there is a cute little sticker. Um, I'm going to send her this cute little st sticker because I've been sending this sticker lately because I like the abundantly lucky. And then I'm going to go and add recipient. So I'm going to look for Deb in my contact manager and she's going to come up and I'm going to click on her name and I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to click ready to send. And it's going to tell me that this card is free because of the plan that I'm on. The sticker is three bucks and shipping's 87 cents. And then there's a gift processing fee of a dollar for a grand total of $4 and 85 cents. Click send. This card and gift will be printed stuff, stamped and mailed for me tomorrow morning. Easy peasy. And again, the hardest part of making this card was uploading the photos. So who wants to know more? Who wants to know how much it costs? You want to know how much it costs? All right. So pricing. 
We have monthly subscriptions. These are for heartfelt cards. This is when you send one card to one person. What I just sent to Deb was a heartfelt card because Deb is the only person in the world who's ever going to receive that card. You can send 20 of those for $37. That does include postage. Or for $97, you can send unlimited of those every month. That also includes postage. So when I say unlimited, I mean it. If you send one card to one person all day long, you don't have to pay for those cards. It's included in your subscription. So those are great for people who just send one card to one person. As a business owner, I'm more of a bulk send kind of person. I send the same card to multiple people. So I that's not the kind of card sending I do as a business owner. What I do is I create a card and I send it to a lot of people. So we have card packages for that. So you buy your card, you prepay for your cards in a bundle, and then you use them. And when you use them, you buy another bundle. So you can buy 100 cards for $157, 250 cards for $347, 500 cards for $597, nine, uh, 1000 for $997, or 2000 cards for $1,797. You have 12 months to send the cards in the 1000 and 2000 card packages. And you have six months to send the cards in the 100, 250, and 500 card packages. And that does not include postage. Postage is additional. And you also get a little discount on gifts when you use one of those part card packages. It's a 15% off discount. So you just keep using the, the cards out of the package until you've used them up and then you buy another package. It's super simple, no subscription. You know, you don't have to worry about canceling. You just have to remember that I purchased this card package on January 1st. So I need to use it by June 30th. You just have, and, and there's a little, um, a little way to get to gauge that in your account. It will actually tell you when your cards run out. So it's telling me that I have until um, uh, April, no, here. I have until April 9th to use up the cards in my package right now. So I have to use up my 100 cards or my 100, I have 100 cards right now. I've got to, I have until April 9th to use them. So it just, it tells you in the pricing. All right. So questions about pricing. We have, have questions question. about pricing. I had a question, Candice. So yeah. You're a person that don't send out that many cards, but you like the service and you still want to be able to use it. What would that look like? So if you just want to send a handful of cards a month, you, you can do so for $275 a card plus a stamp. So it's still half the price of a Hallmark card. And you cannot put a picture of your customer on the front of a Hallmark card. So $275 so you can still plus a stamp. customize your card the way you want and mm -hmm. still um, be able to send that out. Okay. Currently, so, post coast. I believe currently postage that the U.S. Postal Service charges is sixty three cents, and then international postage is a dollar seventy five. I I I'm, I might be wrong with the dollar seventy five. It might be a dollar seventy or dollar eighty somewhere in there, but it's it's less than two dollars for international postage. Any other questions on pricing? Um, Claudia had a question. Go ahead, Claudia. It's not about pricing. I was just wondering, can I? How can I? See, I guess maybe I should send the card to myself to see a print, to see the quality of the print. Oh, yeah. It's send yourself a card to see the quality of the print. There, it is excellent. But mm -hmm. I get complimented all the time on the quality of the card. Thank you. Then sure. I'll put my link in. And then, Claudia, you can send the card from, from that link there. Thank you. And then she can send the free, the first card she can send is free, right? Candace. Correct. If you use that link, the first card you send is free. And if somebody other than Deb invited you today, please use that person's link and not Deb's link because we want to make mm -hmm. sure that people get credit where credit is due. Right. Um, so how many of you love this idea, but you just don't want to do the cards yourself? You want somebody else to do it. We have a solution for that. For $137 setup fee, we will upload your contacts. We will design your first two cards and we will set up your two and we will set up two custom card campaigns for you for $137. So we will do the heavy lifting for you for $137 a one-time fee and then teach you how to send the cards after that. Because after this is set up, you'll be able to do everything yourself. So this is a great solution if you know that you want to do this, but you just don't have the bandwidth to upload your contacts and set up these campaigns yourself. Questions on that? Well, you guys are easy. All right. Um, so call to action. I got a um, 
I have a QR code for you. Do, 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 do. In case you didn't want to use the link that Deb put in the chat, here's the QR code that takes you to Deb's page. Again, if somebody besides Deb invited you, please use their link, not, not Deb's. Um, but go ahead and hover over that QR code and send your first card for free on Deb. And then if you have specific questions and you want to follow up with Deb or I, just reach out to Deb and Deb will hook us up for a one-to-one -one. and I'll, you know, I'll hop on zoom with you personally and help you for 20 or 30 minutes as you go through the system and answer all your questions. Any other, did I do it? You did it. 30 you minutes it, on the dot. <laughs> 30 minutes on the dot. <laughs> 30 minutes on the dot. All right. I have it. Yeah. I have one more survey. Do, 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 la, la, la. Wait, where's the next one? Do, do, do. Exit poll, launching the exit poll. All right. So in the exit poll, if you would like us to follow up with you about send out cards, say yes or no, and then add your name, your email address, and your mailing address so that I can send you a card. And if you include your birthday, you will go on the birthday list and you'll receive a birthday card from me every year for the rest of my life. <laughs> so, so go ahead and fill out that form. And uh, anybody have questions? Did you guys see the value of this? I mean... Oh, and I forgot to show you. I had some other card ideas. So this is um, an event. You know, I'm going to stop sharing. This is an event that um, a photographer and I co-hosted. And this is the thank you card that we sent to everybody who attended. So this real fun photo. Um, this is the custom branding for a photographer. He has a picture of a kid taking a picture on the, um, uh, taking a photo with an old camera on the back with his branding on the back. So that's a way to brand the back of the card. Um, here's a photo, a card someone sent me with a photo of my daughter and I, they found on Facebook. So you, you know that this photo gets, gets put on the refrigerator. And then here's a sample Christmas card with a photo from a photo shoot that a Christmas card was made. So think about this. If you have a client who wants to do 200 Christmas cards, you, uh, could sell them a send out cards package and make 20% on that. Pretty nifty. And Any then it is what well, is important to say that it's not a contract. So it's, you can cancel at any time. Correct. So you're not locked in. And I have been using send out cards since April uh, of last year. I haven't used it as diligently as I should. So been working with Candace now to get better with that. But my last six or seven clients, I sent them a thank you card with the image on it that they didn't choose. And they, the feedback has just been amazing. I actually got a referral just for sending out a thank you card. So it is impacting my business and I can see a great impact on it. Um, and especially like when you get ready to run those promos that you wanna run. So if you got a headshot blitz coming up, you get your clients and just send out those uh, mailers and you know, it's gonna, do wonders for your business. Think about that. 18% of the people that Deb sent a thank you card to gave her a referral. Mm -hmm. That will quickly grow your business to referral only. No more advertising. Super yeah. cost-effective way to grow your business by referral. All and right, we're going to... One last question. How many people, what was the last time I you all purchased a card from the store or CVS? How much did you spend? I spent like almost $8 on a bereavement card not too long ago from CVS. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of money, right, Markel? Yeah. But yes, thank you so much, Candice. This was really amazing. Did you see the last poll? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that's that. kind of, it's personal. So I'm not going to okay. share that poll. But okay, yeah, great. thank you everybody for being here. And again, follow up with Deb if you have questions and she'll connect you with me if you want to talk to me. And thank you for being here. I hope you had fun. And I thank you, I'm so proud of myself for getting it done in 30 minutes. Yay! Yes. <laughs> have a fantastic week, everybody. Thank we'll you. see you later. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Thank you Bye. for coming, everybody. Bye.